Hi there, once again, welcome to IoT. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. Today, I want to talk about logical tests in Excel. Basically, what it means is that having a logical output which is either true or false. So, we have this first number and the second number, and then we have the logical formula which we're going to display over here. And I have some comparative operators, and then I've given some meaning to them. So, we have the equal to, and then we have up to less than or equal. So we want to look at how we can use this logical test to display the output of whether it's going to be true or false in this particular column based on the two numbers that we have over here so we're going to use the comparative operators to do that so let's try the first one so we just see equal to anytime you want to use a formula we have to first bring our equal to and then we'll select this cell and then we want to say equal to again because we want to compare the two if they are equal because this is a comparative operator that we are using so we select this again and hit the enter key and it's saying what false so meaning so one that is 45 and then 56 are not equal to. so basically we're going to get false for that so this is a logical test we are talking about we want to use the second one as well which is not equal to remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming video if you enjoyed this video remember to hit the like button as well so that others can have opportunity to watch this video so let's look at the second one it's going to be equal to so we select our first cell and then we we'll bring what less than and then greater than combined so when we use the two together we mean what we mean is that not equal to so now I'll select my second cell and i hit enter and it's saying true so many this are not equal okay not equal so basically this is true so the first one we are saying equal so take note of the first one i say equal we are trying to see if the two are equal and it's saying what false meaning 45 is not equal to 46 but this one we are trying to at least determine if indeed they are not equal and it's true 32 and 50, uh, 67 are not equal so we are getting an output saying true let's try the second one which is going to be greater than so we want to see if the first number is greater than the second number so bring equal to select the first number and bring greater than and then select the second number and with the enter key same or true so meaning 42 is greater than 35 as expected we'll try for the other one so this is greater than or equal and we're going to bring equal to again and select the first number and bring greater than or equal to okay we want to see if indeed this one is greater or equal to this which indeed in reality is not going to be the same so we we'll select this and it's going to be what false so meaning 25 is not greater or equal to what 66 so we are getting the output at false so let's try for the other one as well so I, like i said hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe if you are new to this channel let's try this one as well we want to compare if the first number is greater than what the second number so we can just say equal to select this number and then we we'll bring our less down symbol and then select the second number and we'll hit enter it's in false so many 89 is not less than 82 okay so 89 is greater than that that's why it's saying false and our last one is going to be less than or equal to so bring equal to here select the first number and then we'll go to less than or equal to and we we'll select our last number we'll hit enter and it's going to be true because 56 54 is less than 66 so basically this is how to use the logical test in excel remember to subscribe to this channel and keep visiting my channel i have so many amazing stuff to share on this channel i'm going to show you a lot of tricks computer tricks it tricks that you need that will assist you in your day-to-day -day activities thank you so much for enjoying this short tutorial so i come your way another time stay safe and continue visiting this channel and then keep watching my channel for more